the Choices graduation is amazing. The kids are working so hard behind the scenes to make what you saw today happen. And the other skill that they're really learning is getting up in front of the audience and doing some public speaking. What I enjoyed most about the Choices graduation is that it was fun. There's so much pressure, even in elementary school for children, and this was a way for the children to learn important things about life and about themselves while still having fun. They were dancing, they were singing, they were playing games, they were shouting at each other, and that's what kids need. That's, they need that to really have something sink in and to remember it. We had a great time watching the kids out there practicing all the skills they learned. Uh, they, they were so excited uh, and it was um, just amazing that something could be so much fun and to be able to really be helpful for them as they go uh, towards middle school where they're going to have uh, numerous challenges uh, and be more prepared to deal with those challenges. Choices started approximately 20 years ago with Florence Seidel, who was a prevention specialist in Suffolk County, and prevention specialists in Suffolk County wrote it for Suffolk County Schools. Um, the Choices program has a very good reputation within our district. I've spoken to one of the teachers and we talked about some of the situations children were facing today, and one, someone said to me, they're just not making good choices. And Bingo, one of our teachers, Mrs. Zukowski, said, you know, my wife works directly with that program. Perhaps I can ask for her assistance and you could incorporate it into the curriculum somehow. So Mrs. Zukowski, wonderful. She uh, came in right away. We sat down, we spoke together, and the rest is history. She incorporated it into the curriculum with the teachers. We're doing it with all fourth grade students, and it has made a tremendous difference in terms of behavior and attitudes in the school. Children are literally making better choices. Choices teaches state-of-the-art information about substance abuse and behavior. And I think we do it in a most compassionate, understanding way. The great thing about prevention programs like Choices is that the children learn basic skills they need. So as they move on and they have to deal with bullying, uh, conflict resolution, they have a place to go back to and draw from where they can use that knowledge and uh, deal with the difficult situation that they might be in. Well, there was an incident that occurred on the playground uh, several days ago where uh, it resulted in children being sent to the office. Um, after speaking with all the children, it was two girls and three boys to, find, to try to remedy the situation. Um, one of the, the girls said that she was very upset and she said that's not what we learned in Choices. And they had a whole discussion about it and it was resolved very quickly um, and very easily because of, the, because of the background they had, the background knowledge that Mrs. Zukowski instilled upon them to make the proper choices, the right decisions, and it overall made a situation that could have been bad into a very pleasant learning experience. How do we have happy, healthy, successful children? Well, first we have to give them clear values and standards. We need to teach them to stick up for themselves and each other, how to feel good about themselves and each other. Next, we have to give them the opportunities to do that. We have to give them the skills and the recognition for it. And we have to keep nurturing all those things that make them so special and so unique themselves. All of that happens in the Choices Program, I am very proud to say. But we need to do it together. Society today is a challenge, especially for our young people. And prevention programs such as Choices gives them the tools uh, to deal with those challenges. Uh, it also empowers them. When we have a program like Choices where the kids are learning these kinds of things and connecting in ways that they never have before, we start looking at the bigger picture and realizing that we want to have a positive face for our community. So how do we do that? It can't just be the schools, it's got to be our families, it's got to be our friends, it has to be the religious groups that we go to, it has to be the youth groups, it has to be the police, it has to be our hospitals. Everybody coming to the table and saying, what do we want for our children? We want our children to be happy, healthy and successful. It's a very strong program in terms of children's feeling, it's, it's almost like a self-identity. They feel good about themselves, they're making better choices, they're being kinder to one another. I think the program in itself incorporates a lot of different aspects that helps a child to be a whole child and make healthy choices and feel good about themselves. 
Um, they are coming to school on time. They're even making healthier choices in terms of their nutrition, what they eat. They're talking, you're hearing conversations in the building about that. Um, parents are calling up and, and stating to me, thank you for bringing that program in. It's, uh, it was a long time overdue, and we're very appreciative that Mrs. Zukowski was able to bring it to our students to benefit all of us. Choices strengthens everything that's great about a community. The Choices graduation was wonderful. It was a very inspirational event, not only for the children who participated, uh, but for the people sitting in the audience, which included uh, the parents, some teachers, of course their um, fellow students, um, and individuals such as myself who, for these children, I'm a stranger. So it was a challenge for them to get up and to publicly speak in front of this this group of people. So it was very inspirational and the children really seemed to enjoy it. It's what I loved that I saw here today, when the kids were having fun, they were cheering each other on and giggling and laughing. And they weren't embarrassed. They might have been shy performing, but that's normal. Adults feel the exact same thing, but their friends were supportive. And I know that we did a great job in choices when I see the kids doing that. This has been an amazing school. The kids are wonderful. Just yesterday, it was after school around 3.15, the phone rings, I answered, nobody's here. And one of the parents called up because she had an issue on the bus. She proceeded to tell me that her child made very good choices on the bus because it was, she felt it was directly related to the experience she had through choices. Prevention programs are very important because if you take a look at the newspaper today, you can't open the newspaper without seeing an article about DWI, about drug abuse, about you know robberies and all of the related crimes that go with substance abuse. People forget that we can stop that from happening. And if we catch the children early enough and we teach them that they don't have to go down that road and give them the tools to help them make the right decisions, we can prevent a lot of this stuff. So instead of focusing so much on work, dealing with the problem, let's focus on preventing it. From the work that I have seen through the years, amazing things have happened as a result.